All right, um, so we are in uh, the week where we're focusing on macros and uh, building blocks. And um, I recorded the early videos on macros and building blocks, you know, within the past couple of years. Um, one of the things uh, that I never really addressed was macro security, and that's actually really important. So that's why I'm making uh, this extra video because you all should, you know, really know about macro security. Um, so uh, just to start, I'm in the developer tab. You know, we've talked about other ways to get macros, uh, to access our macros in the earlier videos, but I think the developer tab is the most straightforward way for this particular video. Um, so we've talked about what a macro is, um, but so why do we need to worry about macro security? What makes them a security risk? Well, um, since macros automate, you know, tasks to save time on keystrokes and mouse actions, um, you know, um, those can pose a security risk because you could, in theory, um, a very experienced, a very experienced programmer um, who had some malicious intent, um, who, you know, like wanted to try to hack your system or, or hurt your computer, could actually write a destructive macro file, um, save it into a document, send it to you, and then um, you're in a lot of trouble, <laughs> basically, uh, is what happens. Um, so again, so from the developer tab, there's this uh, nice, in this code box, there's this nice little button called macro security and it opens what's called the trust center. Uh, the trust center has a couple of different uh, uh, features and uh, or, uh, applications in Word, including um, add-ins and apps and you know lo locations. We're just gonna focus on macros for this video because that's the content for the week. Um, so basically in the macro settings in the trust center, uh, first, it gives us the ability to uh, uh, a couple of different options for disabling or enabling macros. So, um, my I just have the the word default is to disable all macros uh, with notification. Um, and what happens is then the macros have been disabled, but it gives you um, a little pop up, and you can choose to enable the macros or not if it's from someone you trust. So. You're all going to send me homework with macros in it, um, and it's going to say, you know, do you want to enable these? Ma or you know, macros have been disabled, um, and then I can actually choose to enable them to, you know, check your homework. Um, disable all macros without notification. Um, it can do that, and that means everything will be disabled, and you won't be notified. Um, and it's you you can still turn those you can re-enable them but it's it's kind of a pain <laughs> uh, so that's why that with notification that just makes it a little easier um, and so uh, uh, basically the difference is this this first option you're disabling macros all the time this year it makes it easier to just disable them on a case by case basis and adjust as needed um, Disable macros across digitally signed macros, uh, except digitally signed macros. Um, so if there's a digital signature by a trusted publisher, and we're actually going to be talking about digital signatures toward the end of this course. Um, but so if there's some sort of uh, you know code or signature that you know you in, that indicates this is this is from a you know previously trusted source. Um, it'll it'll you know it will not disable the macro automatically it'll enable it because it's a trusted source finally the last one is enable all macros um it is not re uh, recommended specifically because this um because again if you have some sort of hacker someone who wants to hurt your system or your company or your project you know they could send you something uh it could, if you run the macro, it'll run, and uh, it won't just it won't just hurt your document. It could, it could thwart your entire system. So, um, <laughs> that's um, I I do I go with the default. I personally recommend it. Uh, you know, uh, but fool around. Uh, then we have this uh, developer macro settings. Um, most of the people in this class are writers, not developers. But I'm just going to draw your attention to it anyway. Um, this. Um, it says trust access to the VBA project object model. Um, VBA stands for Visual Basic for Applications, um, which is um, VBA. The VBA envir environment is um, just a very common um, 
language uh, for people to write um, codes and macros. Um, and really that is for you know professional developers. That's not something you're going to use in this class. Um, but um, this allows you to you know trust access to um, VBA apps and it is a per user and per application setting. Um, so um, again, that's not something that is necessarily relevant for you. Um, but it's just good to know about. So, um, do take a look in your own system and, and, you know, look into your security settings. I do recommend opting for more security with macros rather than less. All right.